Hello everybody, Lee Povey, MYP Coaching here. And today I wanna to talk about an emotional model and concept called Above and Below the Line. And I picked this up from the Conscious Leadership Group after listening to a podcast uh, by the owner, Jim Dethmer. And this I found to be super powerful in the work I do with my clients, uh, and especially in the work I do on both myself and in the groups that I run. And the model is really simple. So if you were to draw a black line uh, this black line would be, how am I showing up in the world? How am I being right now? And you're either above that line or you're below that line. Now, below that line would be in an emotional reactive state. So, you know, pick an example. Somebody cuts you off as you're driving down the freeway. You flip them the bird. That is below the line behavior. That's your emotional state getting the better of you. And you're not making a conscious choice there. It's a reactive state. And then you have above the line. So that would be somebody cut you off as you're driving down the freeway. And before you flip them the bird, you experience your emotion. You go, oh, I feel a bit threatened. I feel a bit angry. Now let's get curious. And from that place of curiosity, I'm thinking, well, I wonder what's going on for them. Was this really about me? Or was this, they didn't notice me. They're having a bad day. They're rushing to get to the hospital to see a sick relative. They've just lost their job. They've just split up with their partner. I have no idea what's going on for them. And if I stay in that conscious and curious place, I can have a better vision of the world and understanding of what might be going on in the world. And often what happens is we have these kind of pre-programmed emotional responses. Something happens to us, we have an emotional response to it. And what I'm offering you here is the opportunity to step back. So I have my emotional response. That's always going to happen. We're always going to have emotional responses to triggering situations, to any situation, however fleeting that response may be. And then what this model does is it gives us some choice. So from this place of this emotional response, how do I now want to choose to be? Do I want to be angry and stay angry and blame this other person? So stay in that blame place, or do I want to take responsibility? Do I want to take responsibility for my actions and how I show up in the world and move into curiosity? I wonder what may be going on here. I wonder what may be going on for this other person. So it's a great model to take with you everywhere you go. Like, how am I showing up right now? Am I above the line or am I below the line? And I just want to finish this by being very clear. There's no judgment here. We're all going to be below the line at times. That's completely normal. It's not a good or a bad. It's not a right or a wrong. This is a, an opportunity to locate myself. Right. How am I responding to this situation? I'm below the line. I'm judgmental. I'm blaming others. I'm having a big, strong emotional reaction. Okay. Now, how would I like to be? How would I like to show up? How would I like to connect with others? And how would I like to consciously move through this world? Pop me a message. I'd love to hear your thoughts about this. Write in the comments below. Reach out to us. I'd love to explain this to you in person with more depth and to how you can use this in your own life to have a better experience of the world. Thanks, guys. Bye.